Hey guys, it's Phone Rena. We're just doing a quick hands-on video on the Apple iPad 2, which is going to give you some of our general impressions so far of it. And of course, just a brief hardware tour to give you, give you a little bit of a taste of what to expect here. So the first thing that really stands out with the iPad 2 for us is its razor-thin profile. It's very surprising just because it measures in at 0.34 inches thick versus the half an inch thickness of last year's model. So it does shave off a little bit. So we'll, we'll just put both of them side by side. On the left, you have the original one, the right, the iPad 2. In terms of just look and design, it pretty much remains intact. Nothing really different about it. You have the bezel outlining the touchscreen. Pretty much uh, all the buttons line up against one another. But it's just the nice, the really thin profile of the iPad 2 that really sells it. And we're just going to put them right on top of one another here. So as you can tell here, again, half an inch thickness with the iPad, the original one, and 0.34 inches thickness with the uh, newer model here. On top of that, the newer model also is slightly, slightly lighter too, while still retaining the same exact battery life and also packing some, some newer internals underneath here. So uh, we're just going to show you just a brief uh, hardware tour of the uh, iPad 2. So on the left hand side, you have the micro SIM card slot. The bottom here you have your springy dedicated home button, same exact feel as before. On top you have the front facing VGA camera. On the right hand side you have a nice feeling prominent uh, volume rocker, the vibrate switch on there. At the bottom the 30 pin proprietary connection port for your computer and charging it. And on the top edge you have the 3.5mm headset jack. This entire area here is for the 3G modem. You have also the microphone right up there. And you also have dedicated power button, same exact feel as before, very nice and prominent. While in the back, you have just the Apple logo, the information at the bottom here, and also a camera on the back so you can take photos and also has the ability to shoot in 720p, vid 720p videos. And as you can tell with the rear cover, it's just like the previous model. It utilizes the uh, brushed aluminum casing, which gives it a really nice premium feel to it. Pretty solid and something you'd expect from, from Apple's camp here. You also have the uh, notches here for the speaker as well. It's placed towards more the, uh, so the back edge versus the complete bottom edge of the original iPad. So let's turn it on over. I'm just going to talk a little bit more about the internals here. Power this on and show you what's uh, how the displays uh, compare here real quickly. So there's no upgrade in the display whatsoever with the newer model. It's still the same size. It measures in at 9.7 inches, same thing as the original model, but it has also the same resolution at 1024 by 768. So even though it didn't get a bump in that, it's still a nice display. Color production looks nice so far, and it offers some really nice viewing angles from what we're just seeing so far, and for the most part, pretty much responsive. Um, underneath it, uh, it's powered. The iPad 2 is powered by a faster processor, the uh, Apple A5 dual core processor, clocked at one gigahertz versus the single Apple A4 processor, one gigahertz on the original model here. So let's just take a look at some of the other applications here. Um, it's pretty much responsive. If you use an iPhone or or an iPad, you're pretty much familiar with the layout. Pretty much uh, the same uh, grid-like view here. The bottom you have the carousels. You can launch different things. The newest things, of course, you could do FaceTime and also launch the camera app. So you could take photos. You could also do HD videos. On top of that, you could do self-portraits, which is pretty nice using the front-facing camera, and also have the ability to use uh, FaceTime, as we mentioned here. Quickly launch the web browser here. It pretty much has all the features you'd expect. You have um, pinch gestures, pretty responsive, very fluid and quick. And overall, it's pretty much um, reminiscent of last year's model, except for the newer hardware and just a slightly faster experience. But we'll check a little bit more on the overall look of, and also feel of the platform a little bit later. So in the meantime, you could read about more about our hands-on look at the iPad 2 at our website, phonerena.com.